Each one of us has faced moments where we stand at a pivotal junction, confronted with choices that seem capable of altering our lives completely. Whether it's a new job, relocating to a different city, or a relationship reaching a critical juncture, these decisions can feel like a tremendous burden. However, what if I told you there's a timeless philosophy that teaches us how to handle these profound choices with tranquility and insight? Stoicism, a philosophical tradition spanning over 2,000 years, isn't merely about enduring trials. It's about discovering profound serenity amidst life's tempests. Today, we will delve into how Stoic principles can guide us towards more fulfilling and less anxious lives. Whether you're grappling with a challenging decision or seeking ways to live a more centered existence, stay with me. We'll explore how these enduring strategies can serve as your compass in today's world. If you find value in what we're discussing, a simple free gesture, I'd ask, is to hit the like button and please watch the entire video. Each moment is filled with insights you won't want to miss. Let's begin. We often become entangled in regrets about the past or anxieties about the future, making it easy to overlook the beauty and opportunities right before us. Stoicism teaches us that the present moment is the only time we can truly influence. It's where life unfolds. Consider this. When we fixate on the past or fret about what lies ahead, we're not just wasting time. We're also missing out on life as it happens. Marcus Aurelius advised us to direct our energy towards the present as it's fleeting and where our power resides. He believed that grasping this could liberate us from needless suffering and enable us to find joy in everyday activities. So, how do we put this into practice? It starts with mindful, deliberate choices. When you're eating, truly savour your food. When you're walking, feel each step connecting with the earth. Listen attentively when others speak, not just waiting for your turn to respond, but genuinely hearing them. This mindfulness in everyday actions fosters a deeper appreciation for life as it is now. Living in the present is not just about savouring the moment, it's about finding peace with the uncontrollable aspects of life. By concentrating on the present, we mitigate the impact of worries that may never materialise and regrets that cannot be altered. It's liberating. You begin to perceive the world more clearly, engage more meaningfully with others, and face challenges with a calm, focused mindset. Stoicism teaches us that everything around us, including our experiences and life itself, is in constant flux. Nothing remains permanent, and this shouldn't be feared, but embraced as a fundamental part of existence. Think of the seasons, just as winter transitions to spring, which leads to the warmth of summer and then into autumn, our lives are also perpetually changing. This ongoing change is our only certainty. The ancient Stoics believed that by accepting this impermanence, we could attain true peace. They encouraged us not to cling too tightly to moments, people or possessions, as attachment leads to inevitable suffering when these things inevitably change or disappear. But how can this concept of impermanence benefit us? It motivates us to live more fully. When we recognize that our time with loved ones, our experiences and even our own emotions are transient, we're more inclined to cherish them. It teaches us to value the present rather than getting lost in past regrets or future worries. Imagine how much more deeply you might savor a moment with a friend or family member, knowing that everything is temporary and nothing lasts forever. And when life presents challenges, as it inevitably does, this understanding of impermanence reminds us that difficulties are also fleeting. Whether it's a tough day at work, a rough patch in a relationship, or a personal setback, remember, this too shall pass. It's not about dismissing problems, but about fostering resilience by putting them into perspective. Embracing impermanence also makes us more adaptable to change, helping us become more flexible and less fearful of the unknown. It's about flowing with life rather than resisting it. Stoicism not only aids us in dealing with loss or change, it equips us to approach every new challenge and opportunity with a clear, composed mind. This is not about passive resignation or giving up. Rather, it's about accepting life as it comes with all its unpredictability and challenges. Stoicism teaches us that while we can't control everything that happens to us, we can control our response to what occurs, and that response can make all the difference. 
Reflect on the last time things didn't go as planned. Maybe a project fell through or a situation turned out differently than expected. Our natural reaction might be to resist, to push back against the disappointment. But what if we accepted it instead? This doesn't mean we like it or stop trying to improve our situation, but rather we acknowledge the reality without letting it disturb our inner peace. Acceptance involves understanding the limits of our control. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus famously said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This encapsulates Stoic acceptance, an active choice to maintain our inner tranquility despite external events. When we accept what we cannot change, we conserve our emotional energy and remain open to discovering new paths or solutions that we might have overlooked if we were consumed by frustration or anger. Practically, acceptance might look like taking a deep breath when caught in traffic instead of fuming over the delay. It's choosing to find the silver linings when things don't go as planned. On a deeper level, it might mean coming to terms with a loss or a change in life circumstances, recognizing the pain but not allowing it to overwhelm you. The strength of acceptance also lies in alleviating the stress and anxiety that arise from the belief that things must conform to a certain standard. It enables us to be more present, more engaged with life as it is, not as we wish it to be. This can lead to a surprising result. The more we accept, the more adaptable and flexible we become. Life's unpredictability becomes less intimidating and we find ourselves better equipped to handle its complexities with grace and composure. It's about realizing that sometimes true strength is found not in holding on, but in letting go. Releasing can be one of the toughest practices, especially when it involves something or someone dear to us. Yet Stoicism offers a profound perspective on why this practice is not only essential, but ultimately freeing. Consider the energy required to cling to grievances, regrets or outdated habits that no longer benefit us. It's like carrying a backpack filled with stones. Each step doesn't just slow us down, it also makes the journey less enjoyable. Learning to let go is akin to setting down that heavy backpack and experiencing the relief and lightness that follow. Stoic philosophers like Seneca and Marcus Aurelius often discussed the importance of detachment, not as a means of becoming cold or unfeeling, but as a way to achieve inner peace. They encouraged us to evaluate our attachments and ask ourselves, are these serving us or are they hindering us? By practicing detachment, we prepare ourselves to respond to life's changes with flexibility and resilience. Letting go also involves forgiveness. This could mean forgiving others for their mistakes, or just as importantly, forgiving ourselves. Harboring anger or guilt is draining and keeps us tethered to the past. Forgiveness isn't about excusing wrongdoings, it's about releasing ourselves from the burden of ongoing emotional debt. And what about relinquishing control? Many of us grapple with the urge to control every aspect of our lives and those around us, but the reality is we can't control everything and trying to do so is futile. Stoicism teaches that accepting the limits of our control helps us concentrate on what we can influence, our thoughts, behaviours and responses. Embracing the practice of letting go transforms how we experience life. It allows us to navigate the world with greater ease and grace, manage stress and handle adversity without becoming overwhelmed. Imagine how much more peaceful life could be if we simply let go of the need for perfection or for life to unfold exactly as planned. Mindfulness might seem like a contemporary concept, but it's deeply rooted in ancient Stoic practices. It's about being fully aware of our current state and actions without being overly reactive or overwhelmed by external circumstances. Mindfulness is more than just a meditation practice, it's a way of existing. It involves observing our thoughts and emotions without judgment. This can be incredibly powerful because it allows us to respond to life situations with clarity and wisdom rather than reacting out of habit or impulse. Stoicism teaches us that our power lies in our ability to choose our responses and mindfulness sharpens this ability by grounding us in the present moment where all decisions are made. Reflect on how often our minds are tangled with thoughts about the past or anxieties about the future. By practicing mindfulness, we can return to the present, the only time where life truly unfolds. 
It's like tuning an instrument. When our minds are finely attuned to the present, we can handle whatever notes life throws at us. So, how do we practice mindfulness in a practical, everyday manner? It begins with simple awareness. For example, when you eat, truly savor your food. When you walk, feel the ground beneath your feet. When you listen to someone, give them your full attention. This kind of presence enriches your experiences and diminishes the feeling of rushing through life. But mindfulness also means being aware of our internal state. Notice when you're feeling rushed, upset, or elated. Observe these emotions without being swept away by them. This observation is crucial in Stoicism. It helps us understand ourselves better and manage our emotions more effectively. Incorporating mindfulness into your daily routine doesn't have to be overwhelming. Start with just a few minutes each day. Maybe take a moment each morning to breathe deeply and set your intentions for the day. Or, if you feel stressed or overwhelmed, pause and take a few slow, deep breaths to center yourself. Over time, these moments of mindfulness will accumulate, helping you become more resilient, calm and connected to the present. In our fast-paced world, filled with constant noise and chatter, the value of silence is often underestimated. Yet for Stoics, silence is not merely the absence of sound. It's a strategic tool for deeper understanding and insight. Silence in Stoicism isn't just about refraining from speaking. It's about creating a space for our thoughts to settle, allowing us to listen more profoundly to ourselves and others. It involves restraint, choosing not to speak when doing so might escalate a situation or when listening might be more beneficial. It's in these quiet moments that we can reflect, gain clarity and connect more deeply with the principles that guide our lives. Consider how often we speak without thoughtful consideration. Quick responses, especially in tense or emotional situations, can escalate conflicts or lead to misunderstandings. Now imagine using silence as a response instead. This pause gives you time to reflect on your words, to consider your true intentions and to respond from a place of wisdom rather than impulse. Marcus Aurelius emphasized the importance of measured speech and thoughtfulness, qualities that are greatly enhanced by silence. How can we incorporate effective silence into our daily routines? Begin with small steps. For example, in your next conversation, focus on listening more than speaking. Notice what happens when you allow others the space to share their thoughts without immediately interjecting with your own. You may uncover deeper layers in your relationships and gain clearer insight into people's motivations and emotions. Silence can also serve as a powerful tool for personal reflection. Set aside a few minutes each day to sit quietly. Use this time not for planning or dwelling on the day's events, but to simply be present with your thoughts. This practice can foster inner peace and resilience, essential for confronting life's challenges with a calm and steady mind. Moreover, in the quiet of stillness, we often uncover the answers we've been seeking. Solutions to problems tend to emerge naturally when we silence the mental clutter and allow our minds to breathe. Stoicism teaches us that many answers we seek externally are already within us, waiting to be found in the reflective calm of thoughtful silence. This Stoic principle encourages us to find value and satisfaction in the process itself, rather than being fixated solely on the outcome. It's about appreciating every step along the journey, recognizing that each phase of our efforts and experiences has its own worth. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to believe that happiness and fulfillment only come at the finish line, whether that's achieving a career milestone, completing a project, or improving personal habits. However, Stoicism invites us to shift our focus from future results to present tasks. This shift helps us cultivate patience, presence, and a deeper enjoyment of life as it unfolds. Consider the artist who finds joy not only in the finished painting, but in the act of painting itself. The sensation of the brush on the canvas, the blending of colors, the quiet hours in the studio. 